Hello everybody. Uh, this is an installation guide for Kama AI. This is the Kama X3. On the dash here, we've laid out all the components of the system. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show how to install Kama AI into your uh, Ford Explorer 2020 and above that has Copilot 360 with Assist Plus or plus assist, whatever they call it. So first things first, I'm gonna warn you now, this is a pain to pull down. You do have to pry pretty hard. Um, I used uh, a couple different old plastic pieces, even broken, ultimately I ended up having to use my fingers. So I've already loosened this just to make it easier, but it does just pull straight. Dang, it's doing it again. Yeah, like I said, it takes way more force than I like. It's one, two, three, four clips to go up in. I know there's always been a lot of questions about what this sensor is. I still am not sure. Honestly, it could be a camera with how many wires and stuff are going into it. Very well, it could be a camera. So the thing that we're looking for is this device here. This is the brain of the factory system. And what you need to do first is pull that out. So disconnect, there's a little pin you push down. And then it comes with this device, which interfaces with it. This device does the man in the middle for the Ford, which is how the Kama AI can talk to the Ford. Uh, one of the ways, it actually talks two ways. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the car's connection into the adapter. So make sure we do it. Don't ever force anything because these are small little pins. It'll kind of click and give a little tiny tug and see if it's done. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to run this. There is a divot in it. The divot goes on the top, like so. And just take your time and you'll feel it. It'll click in. So once you've done that, they give you a little sticker so you can mount it up here out of the way. But we're also going to run our other two cables right now so they're out of the way. One is the, what is, uh, looks like some Cat5. And the Cat5 will go from here all the way around along the side down into your OBD port. And then the USB-C will go from here down to the Kama AI, which we haven't mounted yet. So let's go ahead and put this in and uh, make sure you use the straight end out of this because the elbow end goes into the comma AI like so, or into the comma 3X. So let's do some positioning. We'll put this in like so. And let's just feel it out real quick here. Like maybe like this. Well, the wires are gonna come out the top maybe let's see i don't know if i'm gonna have to notch it for the bottom or if there'll be room when it fits i think that'll fit like that that'll fit like that and then i can run this out the top and around so before we open our sticker i'm just going to do some test fitting here to get an idea if i'm going to be able to do it the way i think i can do it so i'm gonna run that out the top around the bottom yeah that, that should work. I should be able to click that in like that. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sticky this into place over here next to the harness. So, I'm going to pull off the sticker. All right, that was a fun adventure. So, I ended up disconnecting it to get the stickies out. Ran this down. We're going to run that up like this. And then we're going to put this right here. And we're going to push it in place actually oh crap did i not get it over far enough i will see in a moment i guess here we go here's the plastic okay so this part needs to come out the bottom and this part we want to come out the top one of my wife's greatest fears with this new project was that there would be wires hanging everywhere like our last comma ai car our last Kama AI car was based on a harness that I built myself, and it was ugly. And this actually is looking significantly cleaner. So I'm just pushing this up around. There's like a little tray up here you can kind of set most of it in. 
running it down over here. I'm going to, oh yeah, where's the OBD port on this one? Where is the port? Is it on this side? Yeah, it's on the left side. So for the moment, I'm just gonna run this a little bit sloppily, but I'll fix it a little while later. Running this, goes into your OBD port, just like if you're flashing your car. I think I could probably fish this all the way through. Maybe double tape it down. I don't know, we'll have to mess with that. All right, we're almost there. Let's plug in the comma AI now and verify we at least got it wakes up and works. All right, that's a good sign. So we're gonna ultimately mount it right about here. And to mount it, I'm actually gonna use this. The mirrors line up to figure out where middle of the middle of the window is. So we've plugged in, it's picked up. All right, that's a good sign. Be ready to take over at any time. So we are at a, a state where we are connected. So let's go ahead and we're gonna disconnect it again. We're going to... Uh, Take our mirror and fold it up some. We're gonna figure out approximately how far down we want it to sit. Because we want it to sit like just below the mirror so you can see it without being in the way. So I'm gonna go for about right there. I take the supply of cloth. Which if you have wear glasses, save this cloth, you could use it for your glasses. Okay, so it comes with an alcohol wipe to clean your window. You're also supposed to clean your cameras. So real quick, we're gonna wipe where I marked. Okay. We're gonna take our claw microfiber cloth and we're gonna wipe it down more. We're gonna let that dry. And while we do that, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the factory cameras. I'm going to set this back up here. I'm going to put it face down because I don't want to get the cameras dirty again. So I want to show that there's actually uh, needs to be with the flat side up. I messed up the first time. I had to reposition it, which I hope I'm not off now. But yeah, flat side up. And then once you've done that, I would push on it for a good 30 seconds to make sure you're good and then we'll hook it up so we've already cleaned our lenses and all that jazz i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in before i plug it up there just to make my life easier and then this to slide on like that so let's give her a boot up So the system has started. It's cutting off just the top of it on my mirror. But honestly, you don't have to really monitor that part of the screen much. Uh, all right, cool, it's calibrating. So now we're just gonna drive the car so it can calibrate the camera. So it knows the angle and the speed. Right now it knows we're in reverse. turn the system on. This is a 2020 Ford Explorer ST. And we're going to go ahead and just 
drive down the road here and let it do its thing. It's calibrating now. see the screen no I mean in the camera I move it a little bit so you can see the screen yeah you can see the screen so again we've already passed the time at which normally you would get nagged to touch the steering wheel so keep in mind this is not a level 3 system this is an advanced level 2 system so I still have to monitor it it will make mistakes it is not perfect but for those of you that want to safely get hands free this is how you do it and it's definitely more advanced than the factory system. It should lose the line significantly less, and then overall, it should just work. 